Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have this power series and we have to find the domain of convergence or you can say the region of convergence. The so much important thing is to find the radius of convergence first, then we will go for domain of convergence. Okay. So this is a power series we have, but see it is looking little bit complicated since 1 minus z upon z, that term is there. Okay. Normally we have z raised to n. So instead of that, we have got this bracket raised to n. So to make it more simple, I'm going to put that bracket is equal to W. Okay. So let me write here putting to make it more simple. I'm putting one minus Z upon Z is equal to W. Then power series will be. Okay. So then power series will look like this summation n running from one to infinity, one into three into five and so on to n minus 1 divided by n factorial. Now this is our w. So I can write w raised to n. So now it looks better. Okay. So let us find n now. n means multiple of z raised to n. But here we have w raised to n. So our n is multiple of w raised to n. So here a n is equal to 1 into 3 into 5 and so on to n minus 1 divided by n factorial. Okay. So you know the formula of radius of convergence r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod n upon n plus 1. That means a n plus 1 is also required. So let us find a n plus 1 a n plus 1. So now the question is how to find a n plus 1. The technique is very simple. You can replace n by n plus 1 everywhere and you will have the value. I will do the same 1 into 3 into 5 and so on. 2n minus 1. I am putting n is equal to n plus 1 now. 2n plus 1 minus 1. Get it? Uh, upon here also I should write n plus 1 factorial. Okay. So I, this will be the previous term. Okay. Simply I put it here n is equal to uh, n. I replace n by n plus 1. I got this one. So let us uh, simplify it first. 1 into 3 into 5 and so on. 2n minus 1. So if you simplify 2n, 2 into 1, 2 minus 1, we will have plus 1. Okay. n plus 1. So this is a previous term. Getting this is a previous term of this one. Okay. So we got this one. So let us go further. Let us apply the formula of radius of convergence. Then our uh, formula is r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod n upon a n plus 1. So let us put the values of a n and a n plus 1. Limit n tends to infinity. Actually, there is no need to apply mod since already we have positive real numbers. Okay. So if you apply mod again, you will have the same. So I will skip that thing and we, uh, let me put the values of a n and a n plus 1. 1 into 3 into 5 and so on to n plus 1 divided by n factorial whole divided by. Now I am putting a n plus 1. So this is 1 into 3 into 5 and so on to n plus 1, uh, right? Sorry, to n minus 1 we have here. To n minus 1 here also we'll have to n minus 1 next. To n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. We will try to cancel out maximum terms. So what will 1, 1 cancel, 3, 3 cancel, 5, 5 cancel and we can cancel up to 2n minus 1. So if you cancel, we will have 1 upon n factorial, right, divided by here we have just one bracket there, 2n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial. So you know that if you have any term in denominator of denominator, you can shift at the numerator. So let me do, do that here, limit n tends to infinity, so n plus 1 factorial, okay, I have shifted it to the numerator, n factorial and 2n plus 1. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. So you know that n plus 1 factorial, that means n plus 1 into n factorial, okay, divided by n factorial to n plus 1. So what will happen? n factorial, n factorial will get cancelled. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. And yes, we have n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. See, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. So let us continue it now. So this is equal to, okay, we are finding the value of r radius of convergence. Limit 
n tends to infinity we have reached up to this step n plus 1 upon 2 n plus 1 okay to find its value what will i do i will divide numerator and denominator by n okay see what will happen n plus 1 divided by n and 2n plus 1 right divided by n. okay so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity we can divide separately and then cancel 1 by n and 1 plus 1 by n. here also we can divide separately so 2n upon n and n cancel 2 plus 1 by n. if you apply the limit you know that 1 upon infinity is 0 so that's why we will have 1 plus 0 upon 2 plus 0 so which is equal to 1 by 2 so the radius of convergence is 1 by 2 okay so let us talk about domain of convergence or you can say the region of convergence so then region of convergence then region of convergence is okay so let me remove that one so we'll have some more space to write so region of convergence will be so if we have call it as w you remember now that is our w so the region of convergence is mod w less than r so we call it as a region of convergence but see let us put their values what is our w mod 1 minus z upon z right and r is 1 by 2 let us simplify it further so you know that we can take separate separate mod so mod 1 minus z divided by mod z let us shift it on that side so mod z and let us sh shift 2 on this side so 2 okay so let us put the value of z which is x plus i y so 2 i am putting z is equal to x plus i y so 1 minus x and plus i minus y we will have i hope you are getting since we have minus sign outside so all sign will get changed x will have minus sign similarly y also will have minus sign less than mod x plus i y okay this is value of z you know well how to find the value of mod square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part square of minus y will be same as y square okay so less than here also i will do the same so square root of x square plus y square to remove square root i will take square of both sides so here we will have four uh, if you take a square we will have uh, c 1 minus x square 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 root will get cancelled uh, less than here also what we'll have x square plus y square now what we have to do we have to solve this bracket let us expand it let us see what will happen 1 minus 2x plus x square plus y square less than x square plus y square okay we have some space let us write there so let us multiply each term by 4 so we have 4 minus 8x plus 4x square plus 4y square less than x square plus y square see uh, let us take that x square plus y square on this side so th those terms will have minus sign 4x square minus x square we will have 3x square 4y square minus y square will have 3y square minus 8x plus 4 less than 0 okay so after that what will we do uh, see it represents a region but we cannot find what is the region here so i will try to express it in its standard form so we can easily find a region okay so yeah let us divide both sides by 3 what i'm going to do i'm going to divide both sides by 3 so we'll have x square plus y square minus 8x by 3 plus 4 by 3 less than 0 i'm adjusting a bracket square x square minus 8x by 3 the technique is whatever the multiple of x take its half and take its square multiple of x is 8 by 3 or you can say minus 8 by 3 take its half it is 4 by 3 like it, take its square so it is 16 by 9 so let us add 16 by 9 on all sides both sides 16 by 9 plus y square less than i am adding 16 by 9 on that side also see that 4 by 3 is missing so let us shift it there so minus 4 by 3 so we get a bracket square getting so this is 8 x minus 4 by 3 bracket square we have plus y square less than so here uh, 12 it is 4 by 9 so that means x minus 4 by 3 whole square plus y square less than 2 by 3 square okay see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then we will go further okay so see uh, let us find the region now so you know that if you have equation like this x minus a square plus y minus b square is equal to r square 
so this is equation of circle so its center is a comma b and its radius is r getting so see same type of equation we have got but instead of equation we have got inequality no problem so let us compare okay this equation you can consider by considering equality sign here with this one so you will have here center of a circle so we'll have center is equal to a is 4 by 3 we can write 4 by 3 comma b y minus y minus nothing is there that means 0 is there okay so let us find radius so on that side here 2 by 3 square here r square so radius r is 2 by 3 so this is a circle here we have a circle okay circle with center this one and radius this one but the problem is that we have got strictly less than that means it it contains only interior part of a circle okay so let me draw the region of convergence here so this is x axis or you can say real axis this is imaginary axis y axis getting this is 1 2 center is 4 by 3 comma 0 so the y coordinate is 0 that means that center lies on x axis or real axis 4 by 3 that means 1.3 approximately so center will be here okay radius is 2 by 3 so radius will be like this okay let me draw the rough sketch of this circle so this is a circle we have but we have to consider only interior part of a circle since we have got this inequality okay so let me remove this one it is not required so this is a required region of convergence okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye